The femoral artery, which is cranial to the femoral vein, is a continuation of the external iliac artery from the vascular lacuna to approximately the head of the gastric nemius, just proximal to the stifle joint. So you can see I'm running the probe along the length of the femoral artery. So in the next still image, the femoral artery is shaded red, and you can see the length and extent of the red shaded femoral artery. It's cranial to the blue shaded femoral vein, and it is a continuation of the external iliac artery again from the vascular lacuna to the head of gastric nemius. Distal to the distal caudal femoral artery, which is shaded light green in this image, the popliteal artery is a distal continuation of the femoral artery. So you can see the popliteal artery is shaded yellow, and it's a continuation through the hind limb of the femoral artery, which is shaded red. The popliteal artery, which is shaded yellow, courses caudal to the stifle to the inner osseous space, which is the space between the tibia and fibula. Here it emerges laterally between these two bones. So past the distal caudal femoral, the femoral artery continues as the popliteal artery caudal to the stifle. The craniotibial artery, which is shaded pink in the upcoming image, can be observed from a lateral approach to the crus, deep to the craniotibial and long digital extensor muscles. The craniotibial artery is a continuation of the popliteal artery from the inner osseous space, where it passes craniolaterally to the level of the talocrural joint. The dorsopedal artery is a continuation of the cranial tibial artery from the talocrural joint to its termination at the tarsal metatarsal joint. So you can see opposite of the talocrural joint you can find the dorsopedal artery which is shaded light blue in this image. So the main arteries of the hind limb are femoral, popliteal, cranial tibial, and dorsopedal. The saphenous artery and medial saphenous vein are caudal branches off the femoral artery and vein, respectively. So in the still image, the saphenous artery is shaded red, the medial saphenous vein is shaded blue, and you can see their caudal branches off the femoral artery, which is shaded dark, light green in this image, and the femoral vein, which is not shaded in this image. The saphenous artery and medial saphenous vein pass distally across the medial aspect of the thigh and cruce. Both the artery and vein split into a cranial and caudal branch in the medial cruce. The saphenous nerve arises from the cranial aspect of the femoral nerve and travels distally along the femoral artery and then along the saphenous artery and vein in the medial, superficial aspect of the thigh and cruce. The saphenous nerve is shaded yellow in the still. The femoral nerve is cranial to the femoral artery and the proximedial thigh. So in the upcoming still, the femoral nerve will be shaded dark blue and the femoral artery will be shaded red. And you can see that it's just cranial to the femoral artery. The lateral saphenous vein passes distal cranially across the lateral aspect of the cruce. There is a cranial and caudal branch to the lateral saphenous vein. The cranial branch is often used for venipuncture. There I'm running across the cranial branch of the lateral saphenous vein with the probe. The sciatic nerve, if you lift the biceps femoris cranially, you can observe the sciatic nerve, which is formed by a cranial fibular and a caudal tibial nerve. So proximal to the stifle, the fibula, fibular and tibial nerve diverge cranially and caudally respectively. So the sciatic nerve in this still is red, the fibular nerve is dark blue, and the tibial nerve is light blue. The tibial nerve passes between the heads of the gastric nemius. So you can see that light blue 
shaded nerve heading right between the two heads of the gastric nemius. The dark blue fibular nerve crosses the lateral surface of the lateral head of the gastric nemius, which you can see it doing in the still. The deep branch of the fibular nerve can be seen running with the craniotibial artery in the cruise when you look from a lateral image deep to the craniotibial and long digital extensor. It runs with the craniotibial artery.